Hey guys, in the last video I showed you how to change the page orientation from landscape to portrait. And in this video I'm going to show you just a way that I've seen some of my kids utilize this portrait mode in order to take notes for class that are really beneficial when studying for exams or uh, final exams. So, or just a refresher in general about the content. So um, this is an idea that you can apply to any class that you're taking or any work activities that you're doing that involve videos. Um, so for instance, for chapter one, my students had to write true false statements during my lecture. So this is what I've seen some people do. So the first thing that they did was they inserted my lecture. So you can do that by clicking on insert and then you'll go down to video and it's on YouTube. So they just searched for the name of the video. Shout out to myself, science education. And then they just typed in like chapter one so that looks like this, and then you click select. So it puts it right here, and then there's options, but you don't need to mess with any of that initially. So here is the lecture, right? So here's the title of the assignment, and then the lecture that they actually had to watch. The next thing that they did was add in a text box just underneath, and they had to type in so many uh, true-false statements. So right here, they could just type in there, you know, all cells are alive. This is a true statement right and then go on and continue their other statements but then the cool part about this is when they go back to study and they click on present this is what it looks like so you clearly have the name of the subject and the activity up at the top chapter one tells you what you're doing and the lecture true false tells you the assignment and then here they can just literally click on this it's embedded hey guys how's it going that's Today me that's the lecture one, which is the introduction and they can look at their notes or their activities while they're watching the lecture. And this is also good if they want to stop. They can always hit escape and change something if they have a mistake or if they would like to add in extra information. So this is just a really nice way to present the information. It makes it very quick to study when you've got the video and your notes all on the same page. I hope that helps you guys out. Have a great day.